Hello there. Uh, so this video is going to basically be a uh, quick little one uh, because I got a uh, comment on my summon clips guide uh, a while back, and um, it basically asked if the demon the demon door clip that's done in Fighting the Archaeologist can be done on every demon door. Um, short answer: Yes, but no. Um, because yeah, you see, I you you can do the clip just fine, but um, it really doesn't do you much good. Um, although, you can kind of get around that because um, I'm going to show you in just a sec. We're going to be using edim mode to um, allow us to actually kill the demon door. Yep, you, you, you did hear me right. We are going to be killing that demon door. Uh, so, um, first thing I should be pointing out is that in order to do this, you'll want, you'll probably need actually a bandit summon because they actually count as witnesses to your trophy. And that's how we're going to be entering Adam mode here, is through um, Adam mode version 3. So, basically, um, the way you'd want to do it is you'd want to um, go into Adam mode, or have a save in the area you want to be in. So we have a save here in Grey House um, already. And then you want to go to an area outside of that. Um, yeah, you want to go into Adam mode using or from an area outside of where you're like doing this, so I just went to Barrow Fields into Grey House. So what we've done with Adam Mode is store the uh, load zone. So like as soon as we we end up canceling Adam Mode, we're gonna be going straight to um, uh, the Grey House, which will be really convenient for us. But um, yeah, you'll notice um, I didn't mean to berserk there. <laughs> uh, yeah, the load zones are all disabled currently. But so is the uh, Demon Door uh, dialogue stuff, because scripts and stuff will not respond to us at all. And uh, amazingly, it actually becomes vulnerable to being killed. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be killing this Demon Door using multi arrow, because that's just something you can just do. And. Um, once you've done that, you can verify it, that it's dead by stabbing it with your melee weapon. I think you can actually kick it. Yeah, imagine kicking a demon door. But anyway, uh, the reason you need a bandit summon, like I already said that, but it's because if you're in an area that has absolutely no witnesses to your trophy, um, yeah, you, 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 you just can't exactly do this without having a bandit summon. So... Yes, we do want to show our trophy off. We will pull out a weapon to immediately cancel the trophy minigame. And then we are going to make our way back over to the now deceased demon door. Where we um, see that we have a load zone available to us now. So, I'm going to throw up physical shield. It's because of the uh, exploding spores here in the Lost Garden. And there we go, raw knock the axe. Now it's important to note um, that while you can do this in all versions of uh, Fable Anniversary and the PC version of TLC, I say this specifically for Anniversary though, um, doing it, do it, getting the, um, getting into the Demon Door this way will not give you credit for Open Sesame Middle Finger if you're going for all of the Anniversary achievements. Um, of course, you can also just, um, you know, throw out the old middle finger and you'll get the achievement just fine. Or, you know, any other demon door can just flip that, flip any choice of them off, and then there you go. But otherwise, it, uh, the actual opening of the demon door doesn't happen. So, yeah. That is, um,. That is one thing to note if you're going to be trying to do this in uh, Anniversary. 
and um, this simply cannot be done in uh, the original Xbox versions of uh, Fable 1 and Fable The Lost Chapters. And I don't know why, it's just the, uh, the game just doesn't load the same way that it does on uh, PC, TLC, and uh, Anniversary. So, it's really weird. But, uh, anyway, I hope that helped answer that question for people who were wondering. And um, also showed off, like, yes, you can get into Demon Doors without fulfilling their criteria. This one in particular is pretty notorious because you have to marry Lady Grey in order to do that. And, you know, some people just really don't want to marry Lady Grey or, you know, do anything. Yeah, they just don't want to marry Lady Grey and they miss out on having all the legendary weapons because they want to be a good guy. But now you can be a mischievous good guy with uh, a little bit of game breaking if you're, you know, playing on PC or a 360 or an Xbox One or Xbox Series console. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you have a good one.